Good morning, everybody. It's early in the morning, and I'm going to attempt to remove this chip. Now, whether I do it or I fail, I'm going to still leave it recorded. This is my first time attempting to actually take a chip out like this. Um, this is for my um, Element Fire TV. Um, I bought a new board, as you should know from my other video, um, and the TV is working fine, but I'm going to attempt to remove this without, of course, the proper tools because I don't have the specialized tools for this. So I just want to see if I can remove it and try to put the new chip when I, when I get it. So this video basically right now is going to be removing it. So let's see what happened. Wish me luck. So I got some tweezers here, a couple of other things, tools. See which one work and I'm gonna be using the heat gun. Um, I think I'm gonna set it at 500. We'll see. We'll try that. We're definitely we're gonna fill it with a lot of flux. Um, I don't really know. It doesn't have much, but. This chip is gonna crack or what, but remember it's my first time, so wish me luck. Actually, we're gonna bring it a, a little higher, maybe 500. We're gonna put it at 500 maybe, because I know this takes a lot. Maybe it's gonna take more. Well, the board, nope, the board is, is bubbling up and we still don't got this chip out. So, I don't know. So, what I'm going to do now, it don't matter if I destroy it. I am going to just make it burn. Here we go, we're going to increase the, the heat. We're gonna increase it to a thousand five hundred. It doesn't look like it's doing anything, so this chip doesn't seem to be coming out. And the thing the board seems to be bending. Yeah, this chip is not coming out. Oh, there we go. Came out. But of course, it broke everything with it, so. So 
so the chip did come out but we broke so yeah we kind of broke it out so this is not so easy maybe you could see it the board bent it definitely so you could see these right here they all came out they're broke let me see if I could get it I don't know if you guys can see it, but all this right here, all that came out. See? Maybe we need better solder or something, thicker solder. I don't know, this was my first time, but like I say, I already, I already got the other board, but I just wanted to attempt to fix this one. So this one is definitely not working. And like I said, maybe I need to buy, there is, maybe I need to buy thicker flux. I don't know how these guys do it. But I tell you what, we almost had it. Now I'm going to try to see if I could clean it up a little bit. You know, I'm going to try to clean it up and see if that works. So everything else around there looks pretty good pretty decent so we did a good job at that yeah we just tried the back part man just the, the back part and of course I'm not supposed to really use this but like I said this is ghetto I'm just using a ghetto if anybody needs this this type of chips I should be having two coming which is not gonna help me anymore because I'm not gonna need the chips anymore so you can see the number there if any of you need it this is for element TV the fire edition 2017 so if you need the chip let me know they're pretty expensive chips because as you know they're, they're both the CPU and the graphic cards inside of it, so. But what I want to do now is, I want to see how much I can clean this without burning it. This flux seems too, 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 too. I had at 850 Fahrenheit. Let's put it at 815. Okay. And this is, I bought some new one of these two better ones because it's, this one's too thin apparently. So. but you get the idea so it is possible to take it out with a heat gun but I think you gotta you're gonna need um, more things than what I had you're definitely gonna need thicker flux special type of flux I, I guess for high heat because I definitely murdered this one but there you go Monset attempting to take out basically a GPU chip from a Element TV board. Um, the model of the TV is EL4KAMZ501T. And again, if you're in need of the chip, 
Let me know and I'll send it to you. Thank you. Have a good one.